and showtime hey howdy hey welcome to or welcome back to my channel um if you're new here my name is sam i'm a youtuber who reviews all things drag race and for today's live stream um i kind of just wanted to discuss discuss the top three of rupaul's drag race season 16 again today is sunday we have the finale on friday and i figured this would be a perfect opportunity at the end of the weekend to kind of just look at where we are in terms of drag race and moving forward into the finale and all three of the win all three of the top three <laughs> and kind of discuss what their chances are talk about like just what st potential storylines we could have also i want to discuss a little bit about what's coming next um i've mentioned this almost every video for the past few videos um because there is no current season airing just a fact like currently we have season 16 wraps up on friday and i have no promos to discuss with y'all like there's nothing around the corner right now and it's stressing me out a little bit as a reviewer if i'm being honest um i just want to talk to y'all about like what i see happening with this and like moving forward um again i realize the numbers might dip a little bit during this time just because there's not a current season airing um but i wanted to talk to y'all about what sort of other videos we have hey there nymphia is my winner pick uh she would be such a great winner also she would be great asian representation she's also uh one of a kind I would love Nymphia to win. I, my top two, my personal two, would be either Nymphia or Sephira. I personally am more team Sephira just because for me, um, when you have a drag entertainer who's auditioned 11 times for the show, if you think about this, 11 times, 11 times for the show, um, and now it's finally on. Uh, I, I, I see that storyline, and I feel like Nymphia could come back for an All-Stars and have a full, another great storyline. Like, I feel like there's more, I mean, you could do the same with Saphira. I definitely think, think Saphira could also come back for an All-Stars. I just, I really want Saphira to win. That feels weird There's um that no seasons will be for a few weeks. Yeah, it's gonna be weird, because, like you said, we've been consistent in Drag Race. It feels like we might have had like a short break here or there since 2020. And I don't know how this happened. Like, it's weird because we have so many seasons that have been filmed. And we're just, yeah, I love Nymphia too. I'd be very happy with Nymphia winning. But what was it? What was the thing? Um, with seasons, we have, we've always had a season airing basically since 2020. And we have all of these seasons filmed I that I've seen being filmed. Like, I've seen... I, I, I go on Reddit. I'm going to be honest. I go on Reddit. I, I look at this stuff. And it just... It makes me wonder what is going on. Why are they not airing something right now? Like, make, 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 make some moves, World of Wonder. I need something to review. I need Philippines back. Philippines was really great for my channel. I also want All Stars. All Stars is gonna be iconic with All Stars Nine, y'all. That cast. I mean, granted, it's. I mean, I'm gonna be discussing spoilers here. If you don't want All Star spoilers, it's just about the cast. Um, with eight queens, like it's gonna be good. I'm very excited for it. Nymphie has a unique, unique thing going into the finale. She's never lip sync, which. True, which means. We have no clue what tricks she could pull out as... Yeah, no, you're right. We've never seen her lip sync, which is crazy. She's the only queen to not have lip synced on the season. Because Safira lip synced for the top twice. And then she also lip synced uh, once against Morphine and sent Morphine home. So Safira's lip synced three times. Plain has lip synced twice, I believe. Is that right? Plain lip sync twice, I think. I'm pretty sure that's right. 
Plane has lip synced twice, and Nymphia has never lip synced, which is crazy. Because it's been a 15 episode season, and we've never seen Nymphia lip sync. So I we really don't know what she can pull out. It's going to be cool. Anyways, I wanted to talk through this, look at track records, kind of, and just see where we are. So pl- let's go through them all. Nymphia has one, two, three wins, two low placement, high placements, and no bottom twos. No bottom twos at all, which is kind of iconic. Sephira has four wins. One, two, three, four, four, yeah. And Plane has one, two, three, four. Although, really, if we go back here, if Plane hadn't, I don't necessarily think Plane needed that one. I think that should have gone to Nymphia. But that, that, that's me going way back. I already talked about that. My bad. Uh, Global All Stars is gonna be insane with Queen Kong. Oh my God, Queen Kong and Alyssa on the same season. They're gonna. Oh my God, I'm so excited, y'all. I adore Queen Kong. I got to meet Queen Kong in May. Dragon, Dragon, last year, yes. And Queen Kong is super sweet. Like I love Queen Kong. Big Queen Kong fan here. She recognized me watching my videos, and I was like. Ah! Plain, uh, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Queen um, Spanky and Hannah all recognized me from my YouTube. And, like, they were, I think they were the first ones to recognize me. I think. I think that's right. I think. Taste said she, I looked familiar to her. And I should have said I reviewed her season. Because there's a good chance I'm telling in my brain Taste said, did you come here? Taste asked me if I had come here previous years for Dracon. I was like, no, this is my first time. I'm convinced Taste saw me saw my YouTube. Anyways. What's that say? Global All Stars. <laughs> it's gonna have a it's it's gonna be interesting. Between um these three, they have won eleven out of fourteen competitive episodes, with the other two wins being Q and Plasma. That's crazy. That's crazy. Because that's actually wild. Is that right? Because Q had two wins, right? And I think Plasma had two. All right. Also, I kind of want to walk through a little bit with our each episodes. I think Nymphia could have won that. I think... Uh, uh, <laughs> Nymphia could have won Makeover, honestly. I think Nymphia could have won Makeover. I also think it could have been argued that Nymphia won the design one, that Q one. Because the Goth challenge, I thought Nymphia's look was super fierce. Um, Q, Safira, Safira, I think, could have won the Snatch game. And I will stand by that. I think she could have won the Rusical easily. Um, there's a lot. There's a lot that they Severe could have won as well. Like if you look through the, out the entire season, the wins could have been distributed very differently. So it's go- it's gonna be interesting. Um, I'm pretty sure they filmed the finale at the same time that they filmed the um, La La Perusa. La La Perusa Smackdown for the 50,000 dual fares. So I'll, I'll be curious. That's wild. It's been a long season. It's been a long season. Because if you think about it, it started at the beginning of this year, right? The beginning of this year? Is that right? Yeah. And now here we are, April 14th, and it ends on the 19th, which is wild. It's, it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. I'm excited. Also, I'm curious as to... Because I've heard so many different theories as to why they've filmed 
the finale at um in studio versus at the theater where they have been for the since season four. And I've heard so many different theories, and I'm curious what y'all think. Because a lot of people are saying, oh, it has to do with the writer's strike. Other people say, oh, it's because they didn't want it to leak, because it always leaks. Who's going to win? And then there's also theories about they don't want... There's another strike that could potentially happen actually related to Drag Race. There's so many different theories. This finale is one of the closest we've ever seen. So I think the lip sync will matter. Yeah, I can see that. By the end of this year, we could have a lemon, Alyssa, Roxy. That's crazy. I, I want Roxy to win that so bad. Roxy or Angie. I really would love Angie. I love Angie. Angeria. Angie is such. Oh my god. And Angie just gives like. Such good energy. So, like, the idea of her winning as well would be fierce. I'm really curious to see how the rest of this year's winner's circle plays out. Because I was thinking about it. If Tia's the first winner of this year... Is Tia? I don't know. I hope All-Stars 9... Uh, doesn't become boring with no eliminations. Hope some twists happen. Yeah, I don't know what to... It's it's going to be interesting. It's going to be different. Oh, drag set list. You're right. You're right. You're right. Set list was the first winner. I forgot about that season. <laughs> I watched it. I watched it spawn in All-Stars. Um, that was a wild ride. That was really a wild ride. Because it was also only six episodes, I think. Um... So, I don't know. It's going to be interesting. Because everyone was saying that Setless was pushed to win. Which, on the one hand, I do think Setless um, might have been favored by production. I also do think Setless earned the title because she did very well during the competition. But I also do think some of the judging could have been different. Without so much pr- producer involvement. But. Samantha had one of the biggest glow ups we've ever seen. That part. That part. It's crazy. Because if you look back at um, España se- what, two? season 2. And then you look to All Stars. The glow up is crazy. It's crazy. Because like. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Spawning All Stars really was just a wild ride. And now here we are, still trying to figure out what's next. <laughs> also, because normally it's Spawning Season 4, 4 would be airing around now if they followed the normal schedule. schedule. I want to know what's next. That's what I want to know. Because so many seasons have been filmed, you know? America. Also, I've been watching um other reviewers. I watched Maddie, Maddie Rants, and he's discussed that season seventeen is rumored to be live. I didn't know that was a thing. If that is a thing, that's me crazy. That's me wild. I don't know how that would work. I want to know who's in the cast. I want there to be a drag king. That's what I want for season seventeen. I want a drag king. I've been saying that. The lip sync episode this past week was the highest episode of... That's crazy. It was a really great episode. I did my review. If you haven't checked it out, um, I did it live. Which, on the one hand, I don't normally like to do. Just because live, live, my live content, I don't think it's pushed as much as my pre-recorded content. I had recorded a 30-minute review for a uh, recording review, and I posted it, and then after it was posted and everything, I went to hit play on my phone, because I wanted to test it. I should have tested it earlier. Like, that's the more responsible thing to do as a YouTuber. 
There was no sound. No sound on my recorded video. I was so upset. So I had to do the live one, which is why I went live last night with the review. It was a lot of fun, but I also feel like the live doesn't get as many review many views as a recorded. All Stars 9, then Global will air next to the web. Oh. That makes sense. That makes sense. And also, that way, you probably is going to be airing around DragCon. DragCon? Because DragCon's in July. I was thinking about this. I was like, last DragCon was the premiere of um, All Stars 8. They were making a big deal about All Stars 8 airing at that time. So I was thinking that that would mean um, that they would do All Stars 9 in July around DragCon. But it would make more sense, actually, now that you mention it, to have Global premiering around that time. I I see it. I see it. Global All Stars is going to be wild. Also, Global All Stars cast will probably be announced at DragCon. Yeah. Because all the cast will be there. It was a similar thing with um, All Stars 8. All the cast was there. I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure. Was Khan in there? I don't remember. Dragon was a while ago. What was the accent? <laughs> all the season 15 girlies. Well, no. No. Not all of them. Because I think... Wait, were they all there? Sugar and Spice. Poppy. Um, was there someone who wasn't at Dracon? I feel like there's someone from season 15. That's going to bother me if I don't look at it. I'm going to pull up the cast because I'm curious now. I know Lucy was there. Amethyst was there. And Anitra didn't show up. That's what it was. Anitra didn't show up. And a lot of people were upset because Anitra, everyone loves Anitra, and Anitra wasn't there. Selena was there. I didn't... What's Rob, Robin must have been there. Jax was there. Yeah, I think... Um, I'm pretty sure Anitra was the only one who wasn't there. Sorry, this is where my ADHD is coming into full effect. I start... Thinking about something and then I can't get it out of my head. So I need to see it right in that moment. Otherwise it's going to bother me. Um, This is something I've learned about myself. I feel like I've gotten more self-aware with that. Which is good. I do know that. I did see that. Okay, M- bleh, Michaela Couture. Is going to be on Canada Season 5, which is iconic. I think she will be the first ever contestant to compete who was a makeover um, person on a previous season. Because we still haven't had Nebraska. And I think that's the only other potential one. I think Nebraska would be the only other potential, right? But yeah, I did know that. That's I'm very excited. I, I love Michaela Couture. Honestly, the House of Couture, if you think about it, is kind of iconic. We have Isis Couture, who won. We have Kimmy Couture. We have um, Michaela. And also, I think um, Suki is part of that family, I think. I don't really know all of the drag relations in Canada. I just know Suki and um, Isis are good duties. I think they did their um, DragCon booth together last year. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, I'm very excited for Michaela Couture. Let's see if they, if they show the cast on here. Sometimes they show the casts before... Um, they're announced on the wiki, and I want to see if they... Oh, come on. Camo. Canada. When did Canada... When does Canada air? I know they just recently... Oh, and they do. Michaela Couture. Look at that. Look at that. Wow. I kind of want to go through some rumored cast list right now, because why not?
we might get to see Kennedy lip sync on versus the world. Can't wait. Yeah, that's gonna be exciting. Oh my god. Oh my god. Is she related to Ormagerd? Anyways, this is the cast rumored for Canada, including Michaela Couture, which is very gaggy. 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 All stars now. Well, we know. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Pick remember. Wait, is that on Canada? Or is that, I think I saw that also on Espana? I think. I'm pretty sure it's by season four. Y'all. Well, we already know about... I've already gone over this cast so many times. There's another franchise I want to discuss. I want to go to Asia. Philippines. Season three. I don't know if this cast list... Oh, they, they do? They do? Um... Maxie and her sister, twin, Angel, are going to be on it together, which is kind of gaggy, too. Another set of twins. Also, this queen is gorgeous. Like, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? She's stunning. I'm so excited for Philippines. Y'all, Philippines is where it's at, honestly. Maxie was on, um, who was Maxie on? Queen of the Universe. Imagine the siblings being final two. That'd be wild. Yeah, Maxie was on Queen of the Universe season two, right? Season two, yeah. Um, and now it's coming back. To compete on a Philippines, Darkest Philippines, which is kind of gaggy as well. I love when they keep bringing back the Queen of the Universe Queens because, again, they did cancel that show, I'm pretty sure. Right? Yeah, they canceled it. Another example of someone coming back. Season six. Season six. Le Voix is coming back. Le Voix. Also, I think another pr- France. I think someone in France. Yeah. Oh, shit. Germany was canceled? I didn't know that. Germany and Italy have been canceled because Paramount says it will not be doing... It was not doing well. But, I mean, um, what did they expect? It pissed me off how they uh, were treating drag queens and their art. I'm going to be honest. I didn't really watch Germany or Italia. Uh, just, I didn't. There's so many franchises. I felt like I was doing a good job keeping up with the international seasons. And then it just got to be like so many different seasons. Like it's crazy. Um, But I want to get back into it. All right. Let's go back to Europe. France, I want to see France season three, which also it should be airing soon, I think, because they, they did an announcement that the cast is going to be announced soon. Yeah, Leona Winter, I was right, I was right, I was right. Leona was also on Queen of the Universe. I love saying it like that. Um... I think they feel sorry for the Queen of the Universe, who they asked. Um, yeah, I could see that. Um, I think also with season two, didn't they like have it all come out really quickly and then immediately removed from Paramount Plus season two? Is that Onward of Wonder now? I want to see this. Oop. What was that? I should probably not. Let's go see Wow Presents Plus. Ooh, I want to watch this. House of Laughs. This is just me going to be me scrolling through different seasons. Um, Belgique. What was I looking at? Queen. 
queen. Oop, queen. Queen. Of the unit. I thought it was on. Wow. I thought they had Queen of the Universe on Wild Presents Plus. Apparently, they do not. I don't know where it is then. Where can you watch Queen of the Universe? Um, also, rumor is a uh, new co-host of Drag Race Mexico season. Yeah, I saw that. I saw um, rumor is Valentina. Valentina is no longer going to be a co-host. Which is wild, because I know a lot of people love Valentina. But. I don't know why. I'm not going to speculate as to why. I just know apparently that's the case. But Lolita Banana is still going to be there. So it's going to be... What's her name? I really did not watch season two of Queen of the Universe. Um, what was her name? Now it's going to bother me. <sighs> Paramount owns it and took it off as a tax write-off. So they can put it on WoW. So it. Oh, really? I didn't know that. I did not know that. Really? I did not know that. Rear Palace Drag Race fandom. Sorry, I just want to look up one thing. I want to see. I don't think they would. America's Mexico season dos uh, do they have anything about the hosts I want to see if they've said anything about Valentina not coming back Oh shit, global premiere on MTV, so they're going to have season six. Oh god, that means I have to keep up. Ugh. That means I'm going to have to keep my... Wait, no, I can cancel it. What am I saying? I'm going to be... I was saying, I was thinking that meant I have to keep my um YouTube TV. But if they're not premiering until July, hypothetically, I might not have to. I don't know. We'll see. We'll cross that bridge when we get there. I do need to cancel my YouTube TV after this month because YouTube TV is expensive. And I only use it to watch Drag Race. And it's like $60 a month. And I need to cancel that because that's money that I do not have. I wish I had that kind of money to be spending $60 a month. Ah, um, that's a good idea. Philo, yeah. I like YouTube TV because it's easy to get screenshots and everything on. And you can pop the which is nice for that. Um, but might change it up moving forward. I don't know. I'm also gonna, if y'all want some real life stories about my life right now. Real life? Sure. Um, so I currently live in an apartment with my sister, and it's great. I like this apartment. It's expensive. It's an expensive ass apartment, and I have two jobs, two jobs currently, um, so I can pay for it and everything. And even then, I'm still not really making as much money as I should. It's a whole separate story. Um, but because of that, my sister, who also has, um, a medical condition, 
I should probably not be telling all this online. Whatever. Um, we are going to be moving back home to live with our mom. She's moving, and we're all moving into this new place. So my rent is going to go down greatly, which will be nice. Anyways, that's real life Sam stuff that does not need to be included in this. Also, Grammys 2025 will be insane with Beyonce and Taylor and Ariana and Billy and Dua all probably being there and nominated. I really hope Beyonce finally gets that album of the year that she should have multiple of by now. But I really hope she gets it for uh, Cowboy Carter because, like, that album is crazy. It's so good. So good. Um, but I'll, I'll be interested to see how that goes. What were we talking about? This is when you know I'm getting tired. I might be wrapping this up soon. Are there any more comments, questions, or concerns we want to discuss? I kind of did a little bit about the top three. Um, again, I made a prediction a few episodes ago where my my signature our prediction is that um, Zephyr Crystal is going to win. TBD on that. Um, but that is my prediction. That is a signature hour prediction. Is this ASMR? Is this how ASMR works? I don't know. (coughs) Bad idea. Don't drink soda like that. Anyways, All Stars 10 is rumored to be a celebration of 10th season. Where are people getting these rumors? Like, y'all, cool, but where, where are these rumors coming from? What does that mean? What does that mean? That's crazy that there have been 10 seasons of All-Stars. I mean, I get it. I understand that's how math is mathing, but... Wild. It could mean anything, including another All-Winners. That'd be fun, I guess. I don't know. I I don't know how I feel about a second All Winners. After the way, um, I love All Star Seven, the first one, but I already know of a decent number of queens that I would want to be on All Winners. Have said that they wouldn't do it, including Bob the Drag Queen, who is my favorite drag queen, personally. Um. <clears throat> And the fact that Bob's not going to be there makes me a little upset. Because I'm like, come on, Bob. I, I want to see Bob back on. I know Bob's doing other things. Bob's on tour with Madonna. Bob does not need this. But I just, I love Bob. I want to see Bob back on Drag Race. I get it, though. Competing is not for everyone. International girls would do it in a heartbeat. Imagine and oh my god, Envy. Didn't Kiana Kiana also say that she wouldn't do it? I think Kiana also said she wouldn't do it. I would love to see Sasha Colby back. Sasha would be a gag. We could have the two Sashas, Sasha Colby and Sasha Valor. Ooh, baby. The Sashas could team up. <laughs> have a Sasha alliance. Is that too much power in one room between Sasha Colby and Sasha Floor? What would happen? Um, Jimbo says he will come back with room. Yeah, I see that. 
I would love Jimbo. I would love um I want Bob so bad. I know Bob said <laughs> Bring back BB. I know BB already did all stars, but like I don't know. I would love that. I'd love that. Also Priyanka. I want Priyanka. Hello. Excuse me. That was rude. Anyway. <laughs> Imagine Sasha ever Oh my god. Oh my god. And you know they would if they ever lip synced against each other, you know they would just have the sexiest song for them to compete on ever. Oh my god. Priyanka said she might do it if she she's not um busy, but she doesn't need to do it. I see that. I mean, Priyanka is also now on HBO. I mean, Bob isn't on anymore. I want to know why they changed it, changed it all up. I mean, obviously, we know there are new allegations with a certain queen who was on that. And then, I don't know what's going on with Eureka. Um, I don't know. Um, but what happened? Why did they change it all up? Was it just filming con uh, scheduling conflicts? I want to know. I want to know the tea. Anyways, all right. It. Oh God! I put my laptop on military time. So now. <laughs> I have a hard time reading my clock. I'm trying to learn it. I'm trying to be able to read both. Like, that's my goal. Um, So, I think it's 9.37. Because this was supposed to start at 9. It's been, yeah, yeah, it's 9.37. Or 2137. I think that's how you say it, right? 2137? Yes. Um. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and go so I can... Take a shower and take a little bit more time to relax. Maybe watch, listen to a little bit more of RuPaul's book. Yes, I'm listening to the House of Hidden Meanings audiobook. It's interesting. But I'm going to go. I will talk to you all later. Um, if I don't see you all until Friday, I definitely will be doing my review Friday for the finale. And yeah. Have a good rest of your night, your day, wherever you are, and have a great week, all. Bye.